exclusive. I am heartbroken that this is still going on. Allie Raisman blasts USA Gymnastics once again, which she says the organization still isn't doing right in the wake of the scandal that rocked that sport. And then later today, exclusive Allie Raisman voicing anger this morning over a proposed settlement in the USA Gymnastics scandal. Honestly, it's offensive. It just shows they don't care. They're just trying to, you know, push it under the rug. The controversial move that's left Raceman and fellow gymnast Simone Biles heartbroken. But first, this is Today on NBC. We're back at 740 in depth today and this morning at Today Exclusive. Tied to the scandal that has rocked the gymnastics world. Simone Biles and Allie Raceman are both criticizing gymnastics officials over that new proposed settlement of the sport's major sexual abuse case. NBC's Stephanie Gosk has been covering this story from the beginning, and she spoke with Allie Raceman exclusively. Steph, good morning. Hey, Craig, good morning. You know, Allie Raisman sat down with us here in Boston because she's angry, and she's not alone. Superstar Simone Biles is angry as well. They both say that USA Gymnastics and the U.S. Olympic Committee are blocking their efforts to understand how gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser could abuse so many athletes, including themselves, for so long. That fight this morning out in the open less than six months before the Summer Olympics. I mean, it's devastating. It's incredibly draining. Ellie Raisman sounding off, angry and frustrated over how she says gymnastics officials have handled the sexual abuse scandal that rocked her sport. Former gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser is currently serving a life sentence after more than 150 women, including Raisman, came forward accusing him of sexual abuse. USA Gymnastics, the United States Olympic Committee, they refused to take any accountability to address the issue to figure out what went wrong. And now USAG has proposed a settlement that would provide financial compensation for victims, but would release U.S. Olympic officials and some former gymnastics leaders from liability. How has it been received? Not very well. It's honestly, it's offensive. It just shows they don't care. They're just trying to, you know, push it under the rug and hoping that I think people forget about it when they watch the Olympics this summer. After the landmark Harvey Weinstein verdict last week, Raisman wrote a letter praising the survivors from that case before turning to her own. In the letter, she criticizes USA Gymnastics and Olympics leadership. You call what they're doing in this letter a cover-up. What are they covering up? Well, the problem is I don't know exactly. I don't know all the answers. And in order to make real change, we need to understand exactly what went wrong. Can you explain for people who may not understand what they are fighting you on specifically? Well, I personally would like to see USA Gymnastics and the United States Olympic Committee release all their documents and data because they are not doing that. They're not answering our questions. NBC News reached out to USA Gymnastics for response to Raisman's comments. The organization says in part that it has fully cooperated with all investigative bodies, adding it must respect the confidentiality and integrity of the process. The U.S. Olympic Committee told NBC News in a statement in part that they have deep respect and empathy for the victims and that they are committed to achieving justice for the survivors in an expedited manner. Both groups are also under fire from their biggest star, Simone Biles, who tweeted, wish they both wanted an independent investigation as much as the survivors and I do. Last summer, the champion was in tears. You literally had one job and you couldn't protect us. All of this happening with the summer games looming. It's less than six months to the Olympics in Tokyo. What is this situation doing to morale on that team. It's hard to put into words. You know, I've been watching the gymnasts and I'm really proud of them. I think that they are doing an amazing job. I am heartbroken that this is still going on. The Olympic champion says gymnastics leadership is failing the athletes. We did our job and we worked really hard. We did the best that we could and we won gold medals for Team USA and we're asking them now to work really hard and to do the right thing by us and we don't feel that same effort from them. Stephanie, what does USA Gymnastics say about all this and what it's doing to prevent something like this from ever happening again? 
Well, Savannah, they say they are working hard, and they tell us in a statement, quote, that they are deeply committed to learning from these investigations and finding ways to prevent abuse in the future. The organization also telling us that they've instituted policies to make the safety of athletes a priority and also make it easier for them to report any future abuse. Savannah? All right, Stephanie Gosk in Boston for us. Stephanie, thank you. All right, Stephanie.